Take a deep breath in and hug those legs, giving yourself an inhale and an exhale as you roll down to the ground. Go all the way through the spine, opening up the back and then taking the feet in into a wide-legged glute bridge position, drawing the bottom up and opening up, taking the arms over to one side and then rocking over to the other, massaging that upper back, inhaling and exhaling as you move side to side. Try to ensure that you keep your bottom risen. Inhale, and as you exhale, we're gonna come back to center. And as you come to center, you want to look to slowly release the bottom down and then take the arms behind you this time. So returning to that bridge, but this time returning the arms behind us. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Each inhalation, we draw the arms back and each exhalation, drawing the hands forward. As you inhale, draw the tummy muscles in, squeezing the bottom as you exhale, release. Inhaling and exhaling. From here, take your hands behind your thighs or in front of your shins, whichever's easiest, and you're gonna rock yourself up to seated position. Take a deep breath in, reaching the arms up above you, and then take the left hand to the outside of the right side of the head and draw the head over to your right hand side, dropping the right arm out to the side. From here, taking that right arm, reach it forwards and backwards, just finding where that stretch lays and opening up the side of the neck here, inhaling and exhaling. Take the arms back up to the sky, taking the right hand to the outside of the left side and taking the left arm down this time. So gently, slowly lowering it down so you feel that stretch in the side of the neck. Take the hand forwards and backwards, whatever feels good here, and just hold that stretch there, really feeling that nice deep stretch in the side of the neck. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhaling, taking the hands to the knees, drop the chin to chest. And then gently inhale, release the head back, only to where it feels comfortable. Exhale, chin to chest, as though you're waterfalling the head up and over. And then exhale and release. Take the head across to your right shoulder. And then take your head across to the left shoulder. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Take a deep breath in. And then from here, release the chin to chest and then slowly roll the head over to one side all the way around to the other. Again, just feel for what feels right here. Don't force the neck to go further than it needs to. Inhaling, working with that breath, and exhaling. Prepare yourself to move in the other direction. So we move inhaling, and then exhaling as we release down. Inhale and just really start to notice the side of the neck or the shoulders that are feeling particularly tight and those areas that are feeling a little bit looser. Inhale and exhale all the way around. From here we're going to come back to centre and taking our head and hands over to the front of the mat we're going to come into that kneeling position and slowly lower down onto the front. Taking yourself into sphinx position and we're going to inhale lifting the chest up and then dropping the chin to chest so we're going to open up this upper back and the back of the neck and then looking over your right shoulder and then looking over the left shoulder this also helps to activate that parasympathetic response so just to really relax the body inhale and do this gently don't force the neck drop the chin to chest one last time inhaling drawing the head up to the sky exhale chin to chest and then from here, ground down, take the hands out into a cactus position and sweep the chest up, releasing the body down. You kind of like a little wave through the back, opening up the chest and the shoulders and release, waving up through the upper back, middle back and back down. You can have fingers into this more spider position or you can have palms straight to the floor. From here, sweeping the chin and the back shoulder to the floor and switching to each side. So dropping that shoulder to the floor, opening up the front of the shoulder, inhaling as we lift up, and exhaling as we release down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and then release. Back to center. Take the right hand to the side, left arm out, sweeping the right leg behind you for that shoulder stretch. Inhaling and exhaling, opening up the hips, and then release. 
Exhale, switch sides, left hand by the chest, right arm out, and rolling over with the left leg behind us, opening up that shoulder, inhale, and exhale, release, take the legs back down. Take the hands underneath the chest, roll the shoulders back. Deep inhale, come into Cobra. Or if you have up dog, of course, you could take this. Take yourself into wide-legged child's pose. Releasing the chest and taking the fingers into that spider position again, opening up the shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. Sweep the hands back so that you're supporting yourself now, more of like a tripod stand. You're now going to gently roll your head over so you're stretching out the back of the neck. Only go as far as feels comfortable and then release when you're ready. Take a deep breath in, take the arms back out in front of you. Take right hand on top of the left hand and then gently twist the body to look under the left underarm. Take a deep breath in, switch the hands over and then exhale to take a gentle twist and looking under the right underarm. Now you can take your body further forward to find a deeper stretch if that feels better for you. So drawing up, so hips above knees, and this may feel more comfortable for you. So whichever option feels right for you, please work with that. Exhaling, opening up and twisting through the body. Inhale, coming back to that central position. Take the hands out a little bit wider and we're gonna come into puppy pose. So hips over knees, either forehead to the floor or if you are a little bit more bendy and you feel more comfortable taking the chest to the floor, by all means do with chin forward. But only again work with what feels right. If you have impingement in the shoulders, don't force this. Take a deep breath in, draw the body forward, waving it down into your full body onto the floor, rolling the shoulders back a couple of times just to release and let go. Sit back into the toes and then to a down dog position. Deep breath in and exhale, sinking the shoulders and really finding a gentle pulse here in the shoulders. Again, only work with what feels good here. A really gentle pulse, just opening up the shoulder blades, opening up into the shoulders. It's a really nice one here. Work with what feels right for you today. Deep breath in, step up to the top of your mat, feet together, and then interlace the hands behind you for shoulder stretch. So we're gonna interlace the hands, and then if it feels right for you, you can take the hands further forward or just take them down the back, whatever feels right. Sit down into the knees, roll the body up, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up, inhaling, and then exhale, let's wave the body down, maybe coming in a little bit deeper now. So as you see here, I'm taking the hands a little bit further forward. If that feels right for you, do go with that, but don't worry if you can't do this. Hands to the back is absolutely fine. Just feeling that stretch in the shoulders here. Inhaling and just take a gentle twist. So you're taking the right shoulder to the opposite knee and switching. Take a deep breath in, reach up to the sky. Gentle side bend to one side and then switching to the other, exhaling. Deep breath in again, roll the shoulders back one last time. And then from here, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in, inhaling, shaking out those arms, sweep the arms up to the sky, exhaling, hands to heart center, thanking yourself today for this short, quick practice. Namaste.